Right, just a little bit of a uh, action unpacking thing, I guess, uh, unboxing. So I've got my, uh, got my package this morning from Guides and Blanks, or Hopkins and Holloway, which is a commercial division. Unfortunately, I'm not a commercial person, so anyway, I just wanted to unpack it. I thought I'd do it on cam. without using a finger. Let's have a look and see what we've got inside. This is where I'm, okay, so, so this is uh, Fuji Whipping Thread. This is uh, A-rated ultra metallic purple. I figured this is what I'm going to use on that spinning rod. Um, I'm probably going to mix it up with a bit of black as well. Yeah, just thought I'd do something. It's going to be for me. I thought I'd do something a bit different. Um, cork seal. Finally, I've been after this, and I think they. Uh, it was just a combination of timing of stock and me with placing orders. But a couple of other projects, um, I want to seal the handles using this stuff. So uh, we'll also seal the what remains of the cork handle at the end of the spinning rod project. This is just like Christmas. Piece of Duplon, so this might be used on the spinning rod. I'm still going to make my mind up over it, but this would go on top of the reel fitting. Um, can I grab it without it's falling off? Yeah, so, oops, just whacked the ends. But anyway, so this is would be the idea. Is it may go here. Depends, really. I still haven't made up my mind if I'm going to use cork or if I'm going to use this Duplon, but got my options open now. I know I'm going to have to ream it out a little bit to, to get it to fit this uh, blank, but we'll deal with that at the time when I make some decisions. So this is the, the Fuji reel fitting. Uh, this had to be the 20 the twenty mil version, um, but that looks okay. I'm going to take it out of the plastic because of the other things. I've got, um, I think this is called Gunmetal Grey. I would have preferred all black, um, but they didn't have that much in stock, but I can make do with that. Right, K-series rings. This is a long, I think, it doesn't matter, winds down reel fitting, which um, is to go on a different project. That's actually for me to upgrade the second of my Normark Microlite float fishing rods. I'm not sure that was what I was expecting, but it doesn't matter. Piece of cork which is an alternative to this to go on top of the real fitting. So either like this or like this, like this or like this. Still need to make up my mind, see what's going to be easy. The one thing which I know is the diameter of this is not 18 mil. So that's going to be a bit painful. Trim rings to go to the end of this, which would be just to finish that off, potentially. Rubberized cork. I want, without hitting the ceiling, back on the rod, I want to put this on the end here. So this rubberized cork is just super hard wear, and you can even see this is taken a beating. I mean, it's old enough, right? But I think just cut it off one ring down, stick this on, assuming I don't ink off the blank, but stick this on, shape it up, and then that should be pretty cool. Another 
one I bought too, just in case. Screw one up. And some assorted rings. So. Okay, battery cut out there. That was a bit unfortunate. But anyway, hopefully it kind of splices all together uh, when I upload this. So, a bunch of rings for several projects. Um, this is a, a butt ring which I need to uh, a, a ring which will be a butt ring to go on a float rod that I uh, was actually just given, and it was brand new uh, Shimano float rod. This is a tiny little Fuji um, end, uh, end eye. This is actually for my Normark micro light. One of the things I, I did was um, this is supposed to be for um, anti tangle light, just to minimise line loops. And that's one of the things with micro lights is the tips. Uh, that splice tip is so fine that if you get the line looped around it and you're a bit, you know, conscious of it. sort of rule of thumb now is every time I um, redo a rod I put one of these on now I just can't see a reason not to do that and then these would be the rings for the spinning rod so these are all Fuji K series so I hope this kind of lines up I just realised so I think from memory project 40 mil But ultimately, this will take it all the way to the tip. And this is the replacement tip, which will replace. This is the one that came off, the one I pulled off, off camera. This is the one that will go on like this. So obviously, the tip goes down the bore. It's also got this tongue on the bottom. And that tongue on the bottom is great for um, you know, whipping it on to make sure that it's really, really going to stay in place and be secure. So yeah, uh, next thing which I am going to do actually is um, I'm going to go see my parents to give them a bit of a food parcel during the lockdown and um, I'm going to quickly dive into my father's shed and use his um, grinder, bench grinder that he's got just to bring these down a little bit to flatten them out, it makes it so much easier for uh, whipping and I might as well do it there where he's got a real duty one bench one rather than me sitting in the dremel and doing it so yeah next we'll carry on <laughs> 